Ah, the sun. Sure, it makes the seats in your car so hot you can hardly sit down. can also give you that Kardashian-like skin tone. I wasted everyone's money, I wasted everyone's everything, and I feel bad. But it's also responsible for the weather on our planet. When someone is getting a degree in meteorology, one of the most important classes we take is called thermodynamics. Most people think it's something like this. Then the entry entropy change will be Q over T cold minus Q over T hot. Its focus is the relationship between heat and energy and how that relates to the atmosphere. It's actually not that boring and we deal with it quite often when forecasting. This weekend was a great example. I'll be brief and quite basic, but I'll give you the general idea. Here's a vertical slice of the atmosphere. I drew it in MS Paint. Now remember the sun? During the day it heats up the ground, but sometimes there's air that's even warmer well above the surface. We all know hot air rises, right? That hot air at the surface will rise and get jammed up by the warmer air aloft. When that happens, thunderstorms can't grow. <laughs> that was like yesterday. Remember Friday? Severe storms developed quickly, and that's because the air at the surface managed to break through this warm area aloft. Now, next time you hear us talk about that atmospheric lid or a cap, that's all we're talking about is this warm area up in the atmosphere.